Hey class, it's Mr. Dow, your instructor in this English 101 online course. Um, I just wanted to spend a little time today uh, introducing the class to you briefly, showing you what it is and um, what how to navigate it most uh, effectively. So um, if, you are, if you're watching this video, you already know how to get on Canvas, obviously. So, um, and you know that when you get onto Canvas, you should see the other all the classes that you are enrolled in. You might have only this class uh, right now since it is a short winter session. This is Winter 2018 English 101. Let's go in there and take a look at it. What I'm seeing right now is the instructor view. I'm going to change that to the student view, so we're going to discuss it the way you see it as a student. And uh, here it is. Uh, I just want to answer a couple questions about this that come up right here, just so it's, you don't have any confusion. Um, before I get into this stuff, well, I'll, let's briefly talk about the organization. Everything's set up week to week, and each week is called, and the assignments uh, included in that week are called a module. Uh, that's the way it can, that's Canvas's language. Uh, so there we have six weeks, we'll have six modules. Everything you're supposed to do that week is incorporated into that module. Um, I'm going to go back to that and talk about it a little more specifically, but let's talk about what's on the left here. This is your menu. These are the only things available to you for this six weeks. Announcements. Um, if I have something to tell the whole class you need to know about, I will put it in an announcement. You will be informed that there is a new announcement. Uh, whenever you go to your the home page here, there will be a message for you. You can check your grades at any time. Um, I'll start putting grades up at the end of this week, uh, and you can check where you are um, at any time. The syllabus is here. Our syllabus is... Um, should be a little owl image here. It's not here. That's upsetting. I'll, I'll check into that. Uh, the syllabus tells you all the course policies and kind of the just the way the course is running, the way we, things are graded, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I find most students would prefer to skip or skim the syllabus. But it's kind of important you get what's going on in this class, especially in a six-week version. So um, I'm going to have I'm going to force you to go through the syllabus because your very first assignment is a quiz that counts as part of your grade, and it is just all about the syllabus. You do have to kind of like figure out what's happening here. You have to read it. Uh, finally, there's a link to the um, our library uh, at the end of this uh, list, and that is that, I'm not going to get into that now, but that is important for us because of the uh, research component in this class, and we will end up using this, but probably not until week three. So um, let's take a look. Uh, week, every week is set up kind of the same way. I always start off with this page called What to Do and Think About. You'll see week two, What to Do and Think About. This, is where you, this has the full list of everything that's actually going on in the class. So um, if you want to know what are we doing this week, it's all listed on those pages. Uh, take a look at our first uh, What to Do and Think About page. You'll see there are 13 items listed here. Now, some of those items are right here. Uh, number one, watch this introduction video. That's not so hard. Um, number five, read Most Dangerous Game. I've put the link right here. So um, this is the complete list, but you'll see that some of the things are not that you have to do. They're listed here, but the information is actually somewhere else in the module. So like this one, take the course syllabus quiz following in this module. It's not here. I, I could go to, I'll go to home, just get the full list. There's the course syllabus quiz. It's the very next thing. And I would click on that and... Uh, you can you know, then take the quiz if you if you want to do that. Um, so uh, just be aware that when you see the module at first, you might think, oh, this is what I have to do. That's not exactly right. What you have to do this week is listed under what to do and think about. And the other stuff on the module is basically expanding on some of the things in here. That's, that's what I wanted to get across more than anything else. Um, so you can see that... Uh, what we have here, uh, a lot of these are a lot of these are pages of just more information, like this one. Some of them are discussions where you need need to respond. If it's a discussion, that means that um, other people are going to read it besides me. Uh, you would read the questions of the prompt, hit reply, type into the reply box, hit submit. I've done one for you here for the first discussion, just to give you an idea what I'm looking for. Um, other things, uh, more graded assignments like exercise one, plot structure, um, kind of set up the same way. You know, you're going to go in there. You uh, have some questions to answer. You would click submit the assignment. You get a text box. You send it, you you write in there and send it to me. That um, that goes only to me. The the rest of the class is not look at that. Um, other than that, like I say, it's it's going to be essays or Q and A's or more information, etc. That I need you to look at in order to move on with the assignments in this course. Um, our goal overall is to write a college level research paper by the very last week, and to do that. You really absolutely have to do every single thing in the course. You can't skip anything. You, I mean, you, know, you could try. It, just, it won't work. Um, there is no way to skip a week and come back and then turn in all that work. It's, that's, it's impossible given the way the semester is set up. So my advice to you in this class um, is, to ju is to keep up. Number one, I, and I make all this clear in the syllabus, uh, you want to make sure that you uh, 
that you set a schedule for yourself and you start the work for each week early in the week in case something goes wrong or you have to resubmit an assignment. Um, number two, you want to stay in touch with your instructor as much as possible. You know, I will, uh, I respond to everything within 24 hours, um, every, every email question or, or if there's a problem. And a lot of times it doesn't take me 24 hours to do that. When it comes to an assignment you've turned in, some assignments need immediate response and I'll respond to those as soon as possible. Other assignments, um, they don't, they're not, they're, nothing depends on them, so I'll wait until that Saturday. But uh, what I'm trying to say is I, it's easy to get hold of me and I will stay in touch on email. And also I will come to the office at least once each, uh, each week of the semester. So if you need to talk to me face to face or uh, you just want some, you need some questions answered that you can't get answered by email, you know, you set up a time and we will work it out in the office at Citrus. Um, other than that, I, that's about all I want to do uh, here. I think that's all I really need to get across here. Hopefully you don't have any questions. You're able to navigate on your computer. Um, if something does come up, get hold of me immediately. Start sooner rather than later. Um, you know, like I said, it's, this is not an easy class. I say that in the syllabus just because uh, it's so dependent on your organizational skills. Uh, I may, I, I, I think of myself at 18, 19, I couldn't have passed this class. I, I certainly could have, I, I was certainly good enough to do the reading and the writing. Um, but I didn't have the kind of, uh, basic time management ability a class like this takes. If you're a reasonable time manager, um, reasonably organized, uh, reasonably okay at English, you'll be fine in this class as long as I, you do it, like I say, try to keep up with the schedule and uh, stay in contact with me. Um, I kind of make warnings for people who aren't in that category about uh, about the best thing to do with a course like this. But uh, otherwise, you know, I think that's all, that's all I'll do right now. Um, but you want to make sure, just like I say, go ahead and get started. Don't wait. Uh, let me know if there's any issues. Uh, let me hear from you. All right, everybody. I will be seeing you during the semester.